The Prodigal Son, a story that Jesus told. This is Stan. Stan has two sons, Peter and Klaus. Klaus, the younger of his sons, comes to Stan one day. He asks his father to give him his part of the inheritance early. Stan gives him the money and Klaus packs his stuff to leave for another country. Early on, Klaus thinks his life is going pretty well. He uses his inheritance to buy a big house and an expensive car. Every night he goes to parties and celebrates till dawn. After living this way for a while, he runs out of his money and loses everything. As if that was not bad enough, it gets even worse. The country where he was living is hit by a famine, and he can't afford to buy food anymore. In his distress, he gets a job taking care of pigs. And even though he is hungry, he is not allowed to eat the pigs' food. Sitting amongst the pigs, he remembers, At my father's house, everything was good. Even his employees had a good life. Maybe. Maybe he will let me work for him if I go back and ask him. So, Klaus decides to make the long way back to his father. When Klaus returns home, Stan runs out to joyfully hug his son. Klaus apologizes for running away and spending all of his inheritance. He asks if he can work for Stan, not as his son, but as one of his employees. Stan doesn't even consider Klaus's proposal. Instead, he is organizing a huge party for him and takes him back as his son. Stan's other son, Peter, sees all of this and gets angry with his father. You never gave me a party, and I have been working for you this whole time. Stan explains to him, Peter, everything that is mine is also yours. You can have a party whenever you want. Klaus was dead, and he is now living again. Isn't that a reason to celebrate? Jesus told this story to show his listeners that God is incredibly happy when someone turns away from sin and returns to him.